just these are just pulling them upright. So that, that that's all this whole extra stuff is. It's not really, it looks complex at first. When you yeah. understand this keeps you upright and these incorporate your legs, that's all they do. Then you just attach yourself to the rope. So what we do is we have a main attachment point like this, but if this fails, we don't want to fall to the ground, so we use a backup plan. Uh, so in this scenario, I'm just going to use this little, this is another type of an ascender. It's not ready to use on its own, it's a backup. So you can't do That's the thing I want to make sure you clear on. As soon as you start, when I start climbing, you just lock one in. Make sure I don't bump in you. Step up. Now I'm hanging. This is a backup, so it's not really doing anything yet. But if I, if I fell into it, it would, it would stop me from falling. Put in my other leg. And the way it works is everything's in an alignment so that way they don't hit one another. They're spaced out. Now, I could climb just like this, but like I said, it's kind of hard on the body. So what we use is we put, our, put the rope in this roller, and then I can stand up. See, now, when I sit back, yeah, I'm just kind of hanging watches. out. Yeah. I'm just kind of sitting in my foot loops, and I'm not doing anything else. Um, if, I were, if this were to fail right now, I wouldn't even fall because this is holding me upright. It's my legs keeping me straight up. Yeah. If, I was, if something happened, I got hurt, and I couldn't stand up, then it would change. But just climbing wise, this isn't doing anything right now except backing me up. Yeah. And once I want to start climbing, all I'm going to do is just walk right up. I'm just going to set this in place. So when I stand, this slides up, and I step down with that leg, and then step down with that leg. So it's called a rope walker because it looks like I'm walking up the rope. Yeah. All right? So watch out. Now watch out it works now. Oh, quit. <laughs> quit. Not like I would normally, yeah. like normal climbing, it's a lot harder. And you can see it. So how you, it's a lot harder. How do you learn how to tie off and all that stuff? Um, there's a lot of places to look. The internet's a great source, but there's a lot of a lot of uh, diagrams and I own a website. Uh, if you look on the bottom of this sign here, it says treebuzz.com. That's my website. And so there's a lot of articles there uh, about tree climbing. And there's a discussion group where you can interact with people. What about the training coming up at the CCIA conference in Connecticut? It's great. If, you're, there in, a lot if of you're in tree climbing, if you like tree stuff. Yeah. So this is Mark Chisholm, three-time national. Yeah. International. Nice. International. Hey. Boy. Good to meet What's you. What's your name? I'm Brian Bixler. Hey, Brian. Yeah. My pleasure. Do some of the West, West Coast.